Hey everybody, I want to talk about Lightburn today. Uh, it's a program that I use for my laser and I've got a couple of tricks and tips uh, with the macros that you can set up in Lightburn that I use. So let's take a look. I really enjoy using Lightburn. Um, I feel like it's really good software and you can do some changes on the fly and hit go and then Lightburn just does its thing. Um, it's got a lot of good options, being able to do things such as dither and you know whether it's a fill, whether it's a cut, um, and all the, the extra little settings and, and nuggets that are in there. Um, the thing that I, I feel like a lot of people don't even know exists or they just miss it um, is this area. Uh, you've got your cuts, move, and console. Console is what I want to talk about right now, um, especially for those that are coming to this video after seeing my IoT Relay setup. Um, so if you're going to use the IoT Relay and you're going to use your JTEC laser, these are some of the things that are really going to help you out and make things going back and forth really simple, really smooth and then you can just forget the settings. You don't have to worry about it, it's set up, like just forget them. Write them down somewhere and, and just leave them there. Um, so first thing that I'm gonna do is I have my IoT Relay on, I'm going to turn it off. Because even with the laser, it will turn the IoT Relay on uh, as it's running and you don't want that. You don't want the spindle in the back coming on and off as your laser's running. So I turn my IoT Relay off and then let's look at some of these settings that I have here. Um, so first off, let's go and we'll look at our laser and router setup that I've put in here. So these, the way you change these macros, I mean, you've got six of them. Other than position on, off, laser setup, router setup, I don't know what else I would use the other ones for. Some people that are doing maybe more complicated stuff may have use for all of them. Um, but so this laser setup, if I go ahead and right click, or if you're on a Mac, a two finger click, you can come in here and you can name it whatever you want to. You can la na name it laser power, you can name it whatever you want. Um, but ultimately these are the things that I've put in here, just lines of code, I mean same things that you could just go ahead and type in the console uh, and reset these, but now I don't have to worry about it. I know what they are, I just click the button and it just does it. So this would set up my laser, and then if we go over to here and look at this router setup one, this is the settings for the router. Um, and remember, if you're coming from my other video where we've talked about this a little bit already, I'll recap. Um, this 30 is the max power. So when we're talking about a laser, you need that variable pow power so you can have different intensities of burn, it can turn on and off, um, and that's what laser mode also controls, is that ability to turn the laser on and off, on and off, on and off. Um, and then your minimum power is set at zero. <clears throat> the reason for these, uh, in comparison to the router, uh, with the router setup, you need to have just on and off to work with that IoT relay. So if we look at this one, Oh, no, that's the laser setup. So if we look at this one, we're talking about ones and zeros. It's on or it's off. Um, that is what the IoT relay is looking for. And if you don't have it set to on or off, so one as your max power, zero as your minimum power, it's not going to work. It's not going to trip that little switch and turn everything on. So make sure that you've got those and then the laser mode needs to be off when you're using your router so that way it's not turning on and off in between your carbs as you're lifting up and moving around and and doing all kinds of stuff your your router will turn on and off the back will turn on and off if you have this laser mode turned on so just to give you a quick look so right now if you look up here in the console you can see that i have everything set up for the router so I'm just going to go ahead and click my laser button and then we'll scroll down. You'll see it says OK. So it took those lines of code. 
we'll hit the dollar signs and take a look and now you can see that everything's set up for my laser and we can go back hit router see the OK's and then go back up here and you can see everything is set up for the router nice and easy nice and smooth um, that way you don't have to remember all the lines of code and typing them all in you can just click the buttons so we'll look at my other macros that I feel like might be helpful for people uh, so we'll just click this laser setup and then go in here and show you what I have set up and I'll put these lines of code down in the description so that way anybody can copy them and use them um, but this is to set my laser to low power mode so that way I can just see where the laser point's going to be and I can line a piece of material up and then click go and just be done um, but to pair with this is also and I, I'll actually explain this a little bit so the M3 is your spindle start and your S7 is basically the intensity or the speed of the spindle uh, for the laser we're talking intensity how hot it's burning um, I will throw all this down in the description but the line of code has to read this way um, if you do it any other way it won't work um, so you I'll put this down in the description so that way you can just copy it um, on some of the the spin or some of the lasers that are a lower wattage mine is a 7 watt uh, you may have to just adjust this number and just make it you know 18 or you know whatever it does until you actually see that blue light turn on seven works good for me so that way it turns on but it's not burning the material as it's sitting down there uh, but you have to pair with this off button so m05 will just turn off the laser so let's go ahead and we'll just see what this looks like so i'm going to go ahead and hit position on and you'll see that light come on and now i can go ahead and just move my piece over and get it so it's matched up with my little x that i set on there and then i'm good to go hit off and then go move on and do my cuts um, i feel like it's a real easy uh, just be careful you're dealing with lasers things that could light on fire like just be careful um, but again pretty simple and I'll even throw another X over here and we can just kind of see how it moves around um, position on turns the laser on and then I can go ahead and see through there and just line it up with my X and then go ahead position off and you can see that I don't have any burning anywhere around there because it was low enough power that it was not actually cutting or burning into the material um, and those are my macros that's what I use all the time for my JTEC laser so if you haven't used Lightburn and you're wanting to give it a try go to their website uh, download it and you can use a free trial and give it a run see how you like it uh, it's worked really well for me um, so if you have any comments, go ahead, drop them down below. Thanks.